What's up guys, it's Brandon Lobb and I hope you guys enjoyed that B-roll. Today we are talking about lighting. Over the last three weeks, I got these two lights I've been able to test out. They are from Sandmark, the ProLite Mini Bicolor Light and the ProLite Mini RBG. And that's what we're gonna be talking about in this episode so you can find out which light is best for you. So let's roll that intro, let's open these boxes and let's go. Let's get started today and unpackage this box. There is a lot of similarities with both lights and one of the things was the packaging and I'm gonna tell you what comes in each package. First thing guys is it comes with a USB charging cable. This is amazing because you don't have to buy batteries. What is a hot shoe mount? You can attach this straight onto the light, straight to your camera and it definitely is a game changer. It also comes with a diffuser. This is great because this is gonna make your light really soft and really smooth. It comes with a microfiber pouch. When you're on the go, you can throw your light in here and it's gonna protect your light. Here are both of the lights, guys. They are very similar. This is the bicolor light and this is the RBG. They're both as big as a credit card and that's one of the thing I love about them. They're travel friendly, they're small, they're compact, and if you're on the go, they're easily portable. Over the last three weeks, I got to test out these lights, and one of the things that impressed me was the battery life. You get 90 minutes of 100% pure battery life out of these lights. For me, as a filmmaker, made a difference on shoots because I don't have to worry about charging these lights for extra batteries. Here's the RBG. You can literally put it behind a subject, put it behind a plan, and it's gonna make your videos a lot more professional. Here's that example. And then with the bicolor light, you can see a little more power. And I separate myself from the background, and that's what it is. Backlighting purposes of this light, it's a game changer. Here's an $800 light on a stand. We're gonna turn that off right now for the key light. And this is what you get out of the bicolored light. This is a quality. The reason why I love it is the convenience. If you're vlogging, if you're out running gun filmmaking, you just can add this and put it on top of your camera and you're gonna get high quality lighting in the dark. And I mean, I am very pleased with this light, with the power, because this is what you're gonna get. This room is totally pitch black and that is the light which I'm absolutely pleased with. The reason why I love about the RBG light is because it gives you variety. You can get really creative with this light. So if you're filming portraits, if you're filming at night, you can change the colors, you can change the different scenes, the atmosphere, the hue to make it feel moody, to make it feel vibrant. Because with this light, it changes colors and that's what this light is all about. I also love the RBG light because it offers so much variety in such an action-packed light. You can get really creative with this light. The question is guys, which light would you rather have? I honestly carry both of these lights in my camera bag. The RBG for creative, if I'm feeling creative, I pull it out because I can change the colors. And if I'm vlogging, if I'm filming commercial projects at night, this is the light for you, the bicolor, because you can literally Put it on your camera, mount it, and you don't need another lighting guide there. Basically, it's a one-time shop, and honestly, this is the light for you. But in the end of the day, guys, they are both amazing lights, and you can't go wrong with either or. So if you like that video, guys, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button for more videos like this, and thanks again for sticking around. It's been fun comparing them both lights, and honestly, it doesn't get better. So I will see you on future episodes. Let's go.